Hey everybody, this is uh, Technoli, and today we're going to show you how to install the Mojave uh, Mac OS on this Hackintosh we just built. This is really important. If you don't follow these guides to a T, then you're going to have problems. So um, make sure you watch this video in detail. And if you have any questions other than what I'm going to show you about installing or building a USB thumb drive for Mojave, this Tony Mac guide is what I used. Um, and I'll have that in the description, a link to this. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the USB drive. We're going to put it in the computer and we're going to format it. So let's get started. Now for this build, you're going to need another Mac computer to make this USB drive. So if you don't have a Mac computer, um, then you need to borrow somebody's or something to really do this properly. So once we have our USB installed right here, we're going to go over to Utilities, Disk Utility, and we're going to make sure we show all devices. It's always a good idea to do this. And right here we have our SAN disk. I've got a 32 gigabyte in here. You don't need that. Um, an 8 gig would do fine. So then we're going to click erase right here. And at this point you don't need to worry about making a title for it or anything. Just make sure that it is Mac OS Extended Journal and GUID Partition Map. Click Erase. This just takes a few seconds. All right, we're done. And you'll notice now we have our thumb drive up here. And uh, it's ready to go. So now, what I've done is, is I've given you links in the description below to download a few things you're going to need for this. Okay, so this right here, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to copy it. And I am going to put it in the address bar. Okay, so right here, you're going to want to click right here where it says download and just download these files. This way, you don't have to download them from the Tony Mac website because they require you to register and everything, which is no big deal, but still. All right, and then we're going to also grab my EFI folder for this particular build. So this is going to make your life so much easier. Put that in the address bar, paste it. Okay, then click download. Okay, once you have both of these, the first thing we're going to want to do is is extract the Unibeast and Clover. And right here they are. So this is our Clover configurator and our Unibeast. So the Unibeast is what we use to build the bootable flash drive. So let's go ahead and double click and just click open. Now if it doesn't open for you, then right click on it and click open. Alright, and so here it is. We're going to click continue and continue, 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 agree. And of course this is our flash drive we just formatted, so we're going to click on that. Okay, click continue. Okay, and then click on Mojave. Now this is only going to show up if you're on a Mac computer that has Mojave on it. If you are on an older Mac that has some other uh, operating system on it like Snow Leopard or El Capitan or something, you're going to have to go to the App Store and download it. And then this, will, this Mojave will download into the application folder. Then click Continue. And we want to select the UEFI boot mode because this computer supports UEFI. 
we don't want legacy on this one. So click that, click continue. And right here for our build, we don't, do not need to check inject ATI or inject NVIDIA. This is for older graphics cards or for uh, NVIDIA, but it's for older ones basically. Click continue and then click continue again. Put in your password for your Mac and it'll start copying files. This will take quite a bit of time, about usually about 20 minutes to build this and uh, we'll come back after it's done. Okay, so we're done. So here we can just hit quit, minimize this. We're gonna go over here. This is what this created. It made this EFI folder. So now what we'll do is, if you remember, we downloaded an EFI folder, okay? So we're gonna open that one up. Right here it is. And we're gonna double click this and see what's inside here, and there it is. We're gonna copy the one we downloaded onto our other one on our USB. And we wanna to say to replace it, not merge it, okay? Once that's done, we are ready to put it in the system and start installing. And we've got that video, which I'll have here in the description, and it'll be at the end of this video, on how to get it installed on your uh, new build. Okay? Thanks so much. Hope you like this video. Like and subscribe if you would. We'll have many more coming. Thanks again. See you next time.